Have you made a commitment to become healthier and take better care of yourself this year? I have. Right? I have. Too. <laughs> <In> <laughs> addition, <too. laughs> All of us. In addition to diet and exercise, though, there are many other things that uh, you can do to increase your health and happiness. And Lisa G., a registered dietitian, is here with YourTastyLife.com to talk about those things. Yeah, right. and, you know, we've you've already, you've already done some segments on this, yeah. and we'll have all year to talk about all the nutrition stuff. But let's talk about what are the other things we can do to make us feel better, have healthier body, healthier minds, because the reality is, if we feel good, mm -hmm. we'll do better. Yeah. True. So a lot of things I want to talk about today are really kind of how do we gain more happiness. And if we're feeling better about things, we're going to engage in more healthy lifestyle activities. Right. So the first one probably doesn't bode well on a cold Wisconsin day like today, but it's going outside. I did so it. It's, so it's been there scientifically you know. proven if we get outside and we spend some time with nature, it will decrease our energy, reduce exhaustion, and heighten our sense of well-being. So this time of year, you may think, oh, I'm going to go outside. I would say don't hibernate in your house, right? right? Yeah. So getting out and seeing sunlight. Sunshine, yeah. Sunshine is huge. Getting some vitamin D from the sun. Right. Yes, and in the spring, you know, fall and summer, it might be as simple as taking a lap around the block. But mm -hmm. getting outside is helpful. Um, another tip would be having an attitude of gratitude. Mm. So psychologists attitude have... Attitude of gratitude. Have stayed, yeah, I'm sorry. That, that, was, was that, no, but you know that what? That deep <laughs> moan. It's like, oh, is that... Is that a child? Oh, that that was, because oh. it's so real. And I'm loving that a registered dietitian is talking about gratitude. Yes. You because, know, or, well, you know, I'll tell you, in my or practice... attitudes in general. It makes or breaks your success. Yeah. Because if you have this, woe is me, I can't do it, it's too hard, they have something I I don't have, mm -hmm. guess what? It's gonna be a lot tougher. Mm -hmm. So psychologists have scientifically proven if you if you savor what you do have, if you focus on the good, you will be more successful in whatever it is in all aspects of it. And can I interject one thing? If you have that attitude that she discussed, you're also boring and people don't like you very much. <laughs> yeah, if you're so negative, negative, yeah, yeah. negativity you're is You're not boring. Yeah. You know, nobody <laughs> yeah. wants to be around Debbie Downer. Hell yeah. Yeah. True. But True. this time of year is probably the most difficult time because of seasonal affective disorder that a yeah. lot of people suffer from, especially uh, you know in this latitude. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, the other tip would be, let's uh, focus on getting more experiences versus material possessions. Mm. So they've done studies where if you focus on buying more experiences, whether it be a trip, uh, going to the theater, uh, taking a painting class, having an experience will make you happier mm. than buying a new pair of, you know, shoes. That's maybe not for Cassandra. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, I you know, like, say, don't pick yeah, on the shoes. I know. She'll take her nice pieces of shoes <laughs> to the theater. That's yeah. true. It's so, a combo pack. So the possessions are, you know, yeah. not really, truly satisfying to the soul. But when you think about your, you know, year your, or you're wandering at work and you think about that vacation, and, oh, my gosh, it rained the first three days, you don't really remember that. You remember the good times. You remember uh, how well it was, and it does lift your mood and make you happier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the Plan last, them. yeah. So you know those experiences are great. The last tip I want to share for you is stop the social comparisons. Right. My mm. goodness, in this social media 24/7 oh, world, gosh, yes. do you really <laughs> think Betty Sue, that's on your Facebook friend page, who only shows you know the fabulous trip she went on and her perfectly groomed children, <laughs> and when the husband brought her flowers, do you really think that's her life all the time? And why compare Are yourself you to that? Are you saying Betty Sue's a liar? <laughs> I, I, my question and we're chasing is: chasing a dream? Is that the truth and really the whole truth, or are you getting a sliver of their life that they're? choosing to share with you. Sure. So there's yes. been a lot of research when we compare ourselves to our friends and family through social media, right. that can make us feel blue and yeah. down, yeah. and then we're like, oh, well, forget it. I can't compete. It's not about competition. Do you, right? right? right. That's your advice. Right. Even if that you. is her exactly. life, even if she has this perfect life. Right. That doesn't affect where you're at. It doesn't make you any less. Say, face if Betty Sue's living large like that for real, would she have time to be posting it and doing all that? Would that be that no. important to her? I That's don't a think so. Good way to get unfollowed. I uh, <laughs> had a good face. Had a good Facebook friend that all the time with they going so to good. here, going to like you know what? I'm stuck here. I don't can't afford. It. I just don't need to see this. So right. Yeah. Just took it off. Yeah. And we're unfollow. still friends. We still message, yes. but I don't need to see every or time he goes hide to toes, Tibet. You know, you can. There's different things you can. Do do where they don't have to know you're defriending or unfollowing, yeah, you know, so follow. just, you know, do what's right for you. But if you notice when you're looking at things online and you're like, oh, right. you know, I hear people all the time, oh my God, did you see what she put? 
then don't watch it. Like, right. don't don't right. read it. Then hide it. Right. Or and the focus negativity on you. that's on social media. All the oh time. yeah. My first oh, okay. post of the new year was heads up. I'm striving for a no negativity social yeah. Uh, yeah. media yes. in 2016. Yes. And I'm just going to unfollow you. If you're going to get on there with the crazy political yep. stuff and the, you so know, I'm, my right. life is this, my, I'm just not, I don't need to hear it. Right. Right. Just right. going to get well, it out of my life. Lisa, I, again, like I say, I, I love the fact that you are a very qualified registered dietitian, one who has changed all of our thinking around mm -hmm. eating. Right. Is here at the beginning of the year talking about our thinking our in mindset. general. Because once true. your mind is right, you can do anything. Trust me, I've right. had to get my mind right on her 14-day cleanse. <laughs> right now. There you go. I am so grateful to not eat bread. Oh. <laughs> but do you believe it yet? I do. I'm feeling great. Grateful feeling for the good. results. There you go. Right. And yeah. you didn't say kale once, so that was good. Oh, Rob. Right. I love Always success. In, you know, the favor of you if I don't mention <laughs> kale. So no kale. We're talking about right. the mind today. A kale That's right. Okay, so we're going to think about that on this break. Don't go away. <laughs>